My name is Laila, uh, Laila Freechild, and this is my chosen name. I'm a visual artist and I mostly work around uh, gender and sexuality. Blue Pottery has been a prominent uh, medium for the last six years now. It's a very difficult material to work with and it's very light in weight and blue pottery is done only in Jaipur in, this, in the entire world. It's called as Jaipur Blue Pottery now. I fell in love with the colours and there's a beautiful connection that I see with my um, my roots, so like my family migrated from Pakistan and then this is a Persian art. I was fascinated with turquoise and Lila is a Persian name which I didn't even know before I uh, renamed myself. So I feel that uh, that it's the art, it's blue pottery that has chosen me, you know, rather than me choosing and it just happened. I was fascinated when I was going to, to the to the artist studio that I would be working to such a romantic idea to be working on with clay on the wheel and then when I found out that you can't work on the wheel, there's, there's no clay in it, it's a stoneware, so it's difficult to knead and if you knead more then it loses its the little plasticity also that it has. So. So it was very fascinating. It is such a delicate material, and that really like resonated with the delicate um, uh, bodies that we have. But yet they are so strong. A lot of my work here, uh, which has like uh, boobs and there's like flowers coming out, was like a personal exploration. When I started to live by myself, there's like a lot of um, you know uh, acceptance towards myself that started to happen, um, be it with my body, body hair, my bodily fluids and you know I could just be like naked in my house and just be, so I could just, I was just really learning to embody all that was there. Until and unless I would love myself, there was no way I would attract love in any form from anybody. So, so I feel that you know, self, before self-love, there has to be like self-acceptance and self-worth that has to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I got like a lot of ferns and stuff from a park and I was really fascinated and I just could just see, you know, how the blades of the fern just really resembled my body hair and it just looked so beautiful. And I have a vivid memory of that day just coming home and, you know, filling up all the ferns in my breast and photographing myself and hence all this imagery was born. It occurred to me that, you know, like if each and every part of me is nature and I've come from nature and I'm made of nature, then and if nature is so beautiful, then how can uh, how can I not be like how can I be anything but not beautiful? So I also paint with my menstrual fluid and I've been doing it uh, since 2014. Because I was so frustrated with using pads and I I also saw once like a couple of dogs eating the pad like I had seen before but that was like a very vivid this thing to see them and then I was like I can't be using pads anymore like this is what it's doing to them and to the planet and to us. And when this cup came and the first time I used it and I saw the cup full of this magical fluid in my hand and suddenly the whole narrative changed like I could just see this is the same fluid that has given birth to all of us, the same fluid that brings life and I just loved the flow you know and I, that was just it started with an experimentation what happens if I use this as an art material. So. That's how it started and since then I never stopped. <laughs>